we're so excited about okay. DOMA and Prop 8 being overturned by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. One step closer yes. to marriage for rights for all couples. And since you're so great at giving love and relationship advice okay. on your channel, yes. and in real life, okay. we thought you might have some tips for some of our favorite gay couples. It's a bit we're calling Spoken Reasons, The Love Doctor. Because I am the law. All right, oh, let's start graphic. with our first favorite uh, couple today, Portia de Rossi and Ellen DeGeneres. They've been married for two years. Uh, what can they do to keep their relationship <laughs> fresh and exciting? What can they do to keep their relationship fresh and exciting? Well, you know, um, <laughs> <laughs> I think I think they should go skydiving. Oh. Skydiving, you know, you know, you know, sometimes, you know, relationship can get very, very boring mm. and you can wake up next to a person, you can be married and you can see them every single day. I've been in that position before and you have to, you know, set yourself up in different situations to enjoy yourself. So go okay. skydiving, just Tandem enjoy it. Tandem or, or meeting with someone else at your back or you, like a stranger at your back or gonna go solo? Oh, no, 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 J just you two. Back to back. Yeah, back mm. to back. On yeah, top. Yeah. Smack front down. To yeah, no training, just go for it. <laughs> front to front. Uh, let's let's move on to, to uh, Neil Patrick Harris and uh, David Burka. The pair have two sons, Gideon and Harper, be a surrogate, and they say that they talk on the phone at least eight times a day and text 25 times a day. Is that healthy? Is that too much? Is there such thing as too much togetherness? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> eight times a day? How many times they talk? Eight times on the phone, 25 via text, like minimum. 25 texts a day? Minimum. That's too, minimum? Minimum. Oh no, that's too much. Yeah. That's way too much. And they live together? I imagine they do, yeah. And, oh no, no, no. Yeah, and they have yeah. children. So what do they do? Is one in the living room and one is in the room texting each other? How's the kitchen? Modern day communication. Awesome? Yeah, that's too much. So you know. what do you do? I feel like a lot of people these days, I feel like uh, they don't really communicate as much as they used to back in the day. I feel like because of, of the digital world now, I feel like lack of communication really does exist nowadays and it's really affecting people and they don't even know it so yeah I feel like you know if you can't communicate in person or you can't you know go out and you know chop it up and have fun then you shouldn't really be together I'm not saying that they can't be together but 25 texts a day minimum that's way too much you'll be lucky if you even get five from me oh wow or, really? or three or three You're yeah lucky. we live You're together <laughs> <laughs> I like getting texts from people this music is nice Tequila Tequila is next with Courtney Semmel. Wow. Remember those two? Yeah. Oh, I remember her. Oh, I remember broke those up. two. What, what happened to her? They broke up. <laughs> Tequila went oh. and did some, some movie recently, actually. She was in a movie? Yeah, well, remember well, these two well, famous well, well, What movie was she in? Lesbian Lovers, who knows? Uh, I've never seen and, that. Uh, direct to DVD. Movie. Okay. Direct to DVD. Okay. Uh, the two have broken up, but do you think they will be able to work things out? Is it ever a good idea to get back together with an ex? Depends on the situation. I mean, what was the circumstance? What happened? I don't remember why they broke up. Cat fight. Cat fight. Mm. About what? About things. <laughs> About things. Um, you know, I feel like there's nothing wrong with, you know, getting back together with your ex. Oh, yeah. But uh, due to whatever is going on in the in the relationship, you know, it just depends on you. I feel like relationships are just all about selfishness. You know, we all ha have our selfish needs. You know, you have what you want and your your significant other ha have, you know, needs as well. And if you can't meet the needs what that other person demands, then you don't need to be together. Yeah. Now, can you be friends? That's something else, but you know. Well, I heard that there was a che cheating involved. Oh, it was? Oh, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. That gets I, dirty. I feel, like, I feel like once you begin to cheat, then you might need to hang it up because, you know, I feel like, I believe in honesty. You, you should just tell a person how you feel and, you know, call it cutthroat, call it rude, but being honest and being open is just the best thing you can ever do. You know what I say? Stop asking all them questions. Exactly, exactly, Stop exactly. Stop asking all them hey. questions. Stop asking all them questions. That's your, that's your song? <laughs> okay, okay. Can you sing that for me? Stop asking all them questions. Making statements. Making assuming. statements. Oh, assuming. Assuming. You gotta do the face. Here. You gotta do the face. Smoking reasons. The new Dr. Drew. Oh, what's your name? Hey.